Hello. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is her March 1st versus March, uh, February 1st. I just, I want you to take a look at this picture. And what I want you to notice is that February 1st, and then this is this is the progress picture, right? This this is the this is the result. All I want to bring up, young dumb honey bun here, all over here, <laughs> is saying that in one month she lost half half the fucking size this way. In one month she lost. I'm um, really you lost that much. You lost that much, girl. No. How do you That's not okay. Someone? Young Dumb Honey Bun wants to be taken seriously. The layers of lies to her Photoshop and the deleting of Instagram, like, or deleting of the pictures on Instagram, which I get it, girl. Like, rebrand, delete all this stuff, but you specifically delete. And I made a prediction. I made a prediction to my Twitch stream. I said that she was going to delete, and I'm going to show y'all. <laughs> well, actually, exhibit A. Photoshop body fails. Photoshop body fails, okay? I want you to take a look at this area right there. Do you see how that disappears? That's really weird. Is that a filter? Interesting. And then do you see? What happens there? What happens there? I mean, sometimes I get the twitches. Like, I get twitches if I smile a lot. My face will literally start twitching. But that is not a butt twitch. That is a filter malfunctioning. Okay, so please delete this. It's still on your Instagram. I predict you will delete this. Um, we can go on your Instagram right now, even though I'm blocked. It's okay. Let the celebrities do it. Let the celebrities get injected. Just be yourself, girl. It's okay. It's okay. Like, if we don't want this to be, if we don't want to talk about this as, like, a movement, and if we don't want to talk about this, uh, like, politically or anything, or or things about social media and how harmful stuff like this can be to girls. If we don't even want to talk about that, this is just embarrassing, girl. For a progress picture, this is just embarrassing. I think you guys have seen enough of it. Let's also, let's also make a distinction. We're going to get to a lot of pictures, but I just, I want to get all of my kind of thoughts out of the way and my exceptions. Like, I don't even mind her using filters to smooth out her skin and like all of that. If you want your skin to look buttery, that's, that's fine. Just don't say that that's what makeup did or that's what skincare did. <sighs> you guys asked for it. You guys asked for it, okay? I didn't want to show this to y'all, but you guys asked for it. Specifically, JP. JP, you asked for this. What even is that video? So it's all JP's fault. If Young Dumb Honey Bun wants to come after me, it's all JP's fault. <laughs> Young Dumb Honey Bun, you have a great body. Like, don't be, don't don't be insecure because you have bigger arms. Lots of girls carry weight in different ways. Your body is beautiful the way it is. Trust me, before I was okay with my body, I had body dysmorphia and all of that. And I hated my body too. I hated how skinny I was because people, I'll repeat myself, people either thought I had an eating disorder or I, I was a meth addict when I got older because I was just still skinny and I couldn't gain weight. Anyway, we all have similarities like that. So just the fact that you're posting gym progress pictures and being this deceitful, putting a filter on it, being like, yeah, yeah, uh, $25,000, uh, 235 pound bench press. Yeah, oh uh, uh, yeah, I could do that. Deceitful, it's just deceitful. Her Insta has been hilarious, it really has. This is the post I'm talking about, by the way, just just, just to point that out while you're looking at all this. Um, Young Dumb Honey did that to herself. This is hers, therapist, podcast. Therapist, podcast host, YouTuber, Damon Ambassador. Okay, so there's this one. This is an older one, but this is also, you can see an older picture just from her account. Again, just something doesn't look right. Yes, something just doesn't look quite right. What is that? Oh my God, no, 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 this is her force field. Guys, we saw her force field in the gym picture. Young, dumb, magneto buns force field is capable of bending metal, remember, around her tummy? She's capable of bending metal. <sighs> this is just a picture of um, of her at the silent disco. Girl, this is your body, and that's okay. May maybe this was a while ago, and it's not really, um, it's not really fair of me to say, but this is your body, girl. You're having a great time, and it's okay. She's still doing the... You know, if you want a different body, that says nothing about you. Like, but the point is, she she photoshops she photoshops this little like pooch out, whatever, and then makes her ass like bigger or whatever she does with it. 
and says that it's like her progress picture. And I just can't get over it because it's so blatant, but no Photoshop, just her from her from her Instagram. And I and I say that time and time again. So don't even nobody tried to read me about like, wow, are you trying to body shame Sarah? Never. I'm trying to Photoshop shame her. That's what I'm trying to do, to be quite honest. I am Photoshop shaming and I am telling her, be proud of your own body because you're also showing progress pictures. So you need to show your own body for progress pictures. Don't be don't be the same as Amber Lynn and say that other people do it. So so can I. How about just be better? Isn't that what you would tell Amber Lynn? I just I'm trying to hold you to the same standard that you're holding Amber Lynn to. When you're judging Amber Lynn for not losing weight or her body or her editing a cabinet, which I thought she did in a picture because there was no seam or whatever. And then you're doing this. You look like a clown. It's just embarrassing. It's that's just what it is. At the very least, at the very most, people are like, love that for you. Oh my God, you're in my inspiration. And then in secret, they're like, oh my God, I can't get the same results that she's getting in a month. I can't lose this much in, in body in body mass. I can't lose this much of my weight in one month. What am I doing wrong? This boss ass bitch can do it in one in one month. What am I doing wrong? And she can't even say what her leg routine is because her PT, her personal trainer tells her what to do. Really? Because if you did it often enough, you would know what your leg routine is. You would know what a squat is. You would know what a lunge is. You would know what a, I guess you know what a bench press is, but like, just what do you do? That's what people want to know. And you're being so sneaky and disingenuous and vague just so that maybe to protect yourself, but you're an influencer. What are you protecting yourself from? You have to show us what you're doing, girl. Okay, got it. I just wanted to know. This pic mainly just points out the crazy editing that she does to her completely normal, healthy, beautiful body. Thank you, Rebecca. It's just, it's, it's, it's not okay because it does make other people insecure. It's like the least we can do is just not Photoshop our bodies like that. It's the least we can do to make other people not feel like everyone, everyone has a Kim Kardashian body out here. Are you, what the fuck am I doing? Are you kidding? How, how does this normal ass girl get a Kim Kardashian body like this? What? What am I doing wrong? What is wrong with, oh my God, did I just get a super sticker? Do you, do you get why I'm a little passionate about it? Because we've all, we, we may have all in this chat dealt with a certain trigger word, ED, I'll just say that, or, you know, body dysmorphia or whatever it is, we've struggled with certain images. And we've like, if you've, if you, if you're trying to overcome it, you know, like the mindset that you say, like, I just can't like I just have to accept myself and be me. And if you're taking pictures of yourself, that's it's just you. That's that's it, right? Okay, I'm getting rid of this. This is like there's this one here, date night part two, but date night part one was deleted. Well, everybody, I have date night part one, but this is where um, Small Head McGee came from. Small Head McGee, and you know what? She could have made her head smaller because I've done that in Facetune. I literally have the Facetune app to check it out. And I've and I've photoshopped my own things. You've seen that, whatever my on on the True Boy Elliot Instagram. I can't quite pick like I can't quite understand what's going on. I think it's just because she wanted to create a more, a more, <laughs> a more refined jaw right here. Okay, I got it right. She share her skincare, her makeup routine, her eating, cooking, dog life, past and present. Yet no fitness stuff. Right, know her actually doing it. And it honestly, that that makes me really sad. Like maybe it's because I smoked, but like that makes me really sad to honestly be like, girl, I know you're insecure and I almost feel bad talking about your Photoshop, but you're doing it to yourself. And while you're shitting on Amberlynn, I think that's I think that's the biggest thing that people want to point out. Find someone else to shit on. Find someone else on your level to shit on. How about that? Because apparently Emberlyn sucks. She's a horrible human. She's a this and a that. Apparently you like really don't like her. And yeah, maybe you make money off of her and this and, that, and this and that. But who are you to talk about people's bodies and whatever when you literally Photoshop How dare you? the F out of your body and say that that's you? If you want to say that this is art, I understand in a way. This is not art. This is a progress. This is a progress picture. I feel bad about this, but at some point I commented on her video saying, Sarah's proof that you can still be pretty with a... <laughs> oh my God. Okay, okay. I'm going to try to read that again. Okay, Sarah, get off of here. I need to be serious. Webcam only. I feel... Yeah. Okay, so I feel bad about this, but at some point I commented on her video saying, Sarah's proof that you can still be pretty with a big head. This was like over a year ago, ITK man. <laughs> 
That got me right here, right in the funny bone. Oh my God. She's a pretty girl too. Bad she needs. Yeah, like I think the point is that we want, it's it's fine if you overline your lips and stuff, but we also just want you to be real. We want you to show how your lips look when you overline them, not some fucking filter. Don't you dare, don't you dare say that I am referencing this picture because if you do, that would be so fucked up. And that is not what I'm trying to say, okay? Don't try to say that I am referencing this picture, okay? Because that would be really fucked up. Um, but yeah, so cheers. I've also done this guy, made my head a little smaller, added the lips, pinched some things, put the background of this good old picture. Love her. Yes, thank you, queen, with your big old arms. Yes, fitness guru bun. This was on her Instagram. She has deleted it since because it's really fucking cringy. I mean, I guess that's your neck. I guess you have that much definition in your neck in your um in your neck from the side because there's really no proof. I don't I don't see any smoothing or anything. There's no proof. But just looking at this picture and granted, this picture is mid burp. This picture is mid burp, but it's one of my favorite pictures. When you look at this picture, God. Really? Really? This, I'm okay with, though. I'm okay with this. You can have your neck look however you want. I care about the body stuff. So... You're a Photoshop detective. I'm a Photoshop detective, boo-boo. This is what I do now. Young Dumb Honey Bun. Oh, you thought I was going to talk about your weight or, or calling you out for being bigger than you are? Not really. I'm saying love your body. Love your, love your shoulders. Love your arms. Love your waist that you constantly try to edit and and do body filters even in videos speaking of strong girls gtfo out of bed and go to the gym illy that doesn't make you upset maybe this one will maybe this one will someone was like uh are you trying to make your thighs look look bigger or more muscular and she said you know who else loves big thighs your dad look at this look at this bullshit Look at this shit while I do my, look at my, uh, while I do my mascara. Both happy, both healthy, both taken one second apart, both lovely, both I'm proud of. She's trying to say that this is just as okay. She's like, this is taken seconds apart and it's the same and blah, blah, blah. I, I didn't even look, I didn't even look at anything for a filter because this maybe looks like an older photo. I'm not sure, but... I don't know what's going on. I don't really know what's going on over here. Maybe, maybe you can see something. Maybe her belly button is hidden and she just edited the shit out of everything over here. Maybe that's why it's all blurry. I don't know. But the point is, what in the, what in the demonic possession is going on with your spine? What in the conjuring two is going on over here? Okay, I need to get this out of here because I'm gonna get nightmares in this picture. And while we're at it, what in the conjuring is going on with your mirror? Oh my god, wait, 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 wait. What is going on, ma'am? Why is your mirror? Why is that all going down, right? Going down, 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 and then, oh my god, what happens here next to your boob and next to this part that you don't like? Is that is that all blurred and it it, it breaks and it's oh my god, it's a ghost, you guys. You guys, her room has been demonically possessed. So scary. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on there? I'm going to have nightmares. It's not of God. It's not Christians! <laughs> Dark side. Dumb. Did you get hypnotized? Did they talk about astrology? I'll let you look at that mirror. Yes, it is very blurry. That's one of the worst I've seen, to be quite honest. And I mean, the gym locker... And you know I'm gonna bring that shit up again because this one is so bad. I have to bring up this one as well. This bullshit with the gym locker, girl, they don't do that. But in it, it's, it seems so slight when you really look at it, like nobody would notice. But gym lockers do that, don't do that, okay? Right around there. Yes, look at that. A little bit of blurring maybe because the, the quality isn't so good, but they are not doing that. I will forever remember this moment in Guarl history where I proved that this was on her Instagram channel and this is the glitch. This is a real glitch. I didn't do this. It's not of God. It's not Christian. What is that?
What is that? <laughs> okay, I'm done. Leave this place at once. Young, dumb, holographic bun. She's glitching out. She's she's from the Matrix. She is a CGI influencer. Oh my God, you guys. Young, dumb, honey bun is a CGI influencer. That's the new title. That's the new title. Young, dumb, honey bun is a CGI influencer. I proved it right now. She is literally... She is so gorgeous and perfect and beautiful. She is a CGI character. Oh, I didn't know. Okay, let me just quickly go through all these pictures. I know I, I know I said I wanted to do that. So bam, watch this. These are all the pictures she currently has for Instagram. Let's see if she'll delete anything, right? Bam. Slowly, slowly. Oh, yes, Gaga. Yes, queen. Yes. Okay, Lana, let's go. This is just for the archive, okay? Oh, I can't wait to see when you delete this one because I can't wait to see you delete this one. This embarrassing ass one. Cannot wait. This glitch ass, literally glitched ass and glitched that. Okay, Ilya, you're being kind of hateful right now. Can you like tone it down? Okay, we got the archive. Okay, so. I just want to say thank you everyone for the support. Thank you for the super chatters. Thank you for the housemates. And thank you for everyone that stuck through this fucking mess and supports me regardless. ASMR. And you love me. You really love me. Thank you. I will, I will take this. I will take this award. Oh my God. I deserve it. <gasps> Thank you, everyone. Oh my God. I, I accept. I accept. Um, Thank you so much to all my fans, to God, to my family, to Young Dumb Honey Bun for being such a dumb bitch. And um, I hope you all have a really great night. Thank you. Bye.